This video is sponsored by our friends over at Soundly. More about their amazing sound effects platform in a bit. Behind me is Iceland's oldest steel ship, and even though it hasn't touched the water since the 80s, this video is all about the water. We have the ambient hydrophone with us, so come along and check out Iceland from our point of view and our sounds that we find along the way. Also, in the description below, you're gonna find a link that brings you to our sample sound library with all the recordings that we have made so that you can listen for yourself. Now, I'm gonna take this hydrophone, jump into our car, and then let's hit the road. Oh, and we made it to another incredible lonely pier here somewhere in the West Fjords. We already had a great sunset and now it's time for a hydrophone into the water test. I saw already some chains here, so maybe they make some noises on the water. I don't know, so let's try it out. Okay, so what are we hearing here is underwater sounds, but I don't have the chain crackle because the chains are actually not long enough, but I hear like, like scratching on it. Oh, okay, I know why. So the stretching is because it's actually not so deep. So now I'm hitting already the ground, so I have to go higher because the cable is 10 meter length, which for me is perfect. Here's something. This is nice. I really like the noise or the sound when I, let's see, I'm hope, holding it and then plop, and then I bring it into water, this plop is such a clean, like, plop, it's, it's beautiful. And then, oh, this is also great. It's, it's like this, oh, oh. So if you slow that down, you know, if you watch submarine movies, these are the sounds that a sound designer would use, you know, to recreate the soundscape underwater. You just use underwater sounds, but of course there are different ways. And this is very calming too. So what we're doing next is we go over to the rocky beach, we burying the microphone. Oh, that was good. And see, maybe that sounds good too. So let's do it. Wow, but this is now, because now the waves are a little higher, so it's it sounds like a monster. It's like... Oh, 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 oh. So, what do we have here? Well... So just as I expected, you know, it's like because there are rocks and so it's not sand, so you can actually... Oh, so you can actually hear how the water hits the rock, so it's not a very nice sound. If it's a sand beach, then it's actually very nice... Whoosh. So this is... I, I, I would maybe go deeper, but I don't have a shuffle and then the water is maybe like 6 degrees or 8 degrees of the cold. Um, but this is not a, not a pleasant sound when you hear how the, how the hydrophone get kicked by the rocks. So, and I don't think it's pretty good for the microphone too. I don't do it again at a rocky beach like that. It is 2.30 a.m. right now. And we just were sitting here in the hot pot and look at this we have a moonrise so being in iceland is already amazing sitting in a hot pot with a moonrise i think nothing can top that but maybe it can because we have our ambient uh, hydrophone and i can't resist to record the sound the bubbles in the hot pot so let's see if it can do it i hope it's not too hot for the hydrophone so let's see how that sounds like And now we're going direct over the bubbles. Now it's time for us to go to bed and let's see what we find on the same day when we wake up. <laughs> 
But you see, it's 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 almost 3 a.m. now, and look at this guy. Oh. We're standing actually right now here on ice and snow. Uh, it is windy, it is a little colder, so we don't want to spend too much time here. But my idea for the ambient hydrophone right now is to plug it here into the snow and walk around and see if we can also record this kind of footsteps. So let's do it. like very clean and you don't have any ambience you just have a clean snow sound and of course if I like kick it and I hit the cable it's so sensitive that I also hear the sound on the cable so it's very pump or you know moving the cable here in the snow that all creates noise Okay, so now let's go home and see what we can do in post. And if I say home, I mean the camper van. The sun. Ooh. And now we are testing the hydrophone. So let's just do it. It's, it's really nice, really beautiful. And we're here at Diamond Beach at 2 a.m. I have the hydrophone with me and there's a little hole here with a bunch of water. So we put this in it and then I and then I use a stone and hit a little bit of the ice. Let's try it out. We have the perfect ice pick here. See the hydrophone is all the way over there in the water. So now, so far away, right? But it's so close. Attention. Now we're hitting this big thing here. And now we're in Havenstangi. I know if you're from Iceland, you're probably like, ho, 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 ho. Uh, yeah, this is the place where normally the seals are. So I haven't seen anything yet, so they might be out. This is a very quiet harbor. So the sounds that we capture underwater will be very quiet. But what I love about the Zoom F6 with the 32 bit plus the ambient is they can pick up information. In the first place, think they're not even there. But then when we work in post and we bring it up, we bring it up, we bring up the audio, then you will hear things that will blow your mind. And now you can hear me talking into the ambient hydrophone that is underwater, but I'm not.
Before I go on and tell you my thoughts about the Ambient Hydrophone, I want to say thank you to Soundly for sponsoring this video. If you have never heard about Soundly before, it's an incredible sound effects platform with thousands of sound effects, field recordings and ambience from all over the world. We also contribute almost 4,000 of our own recordings within the Soundly platform. Our recordings here from Iceland will also be available within the Soundly platform. Now, if you want to try out Soundly one month for free, there's a coupon code and a link in the description down below and you can cancel anytime. Let's talk about the Ambient Hydrophone finally and what am I thinking about it. First off, just want to mention one thing. I think it's very important. I bought it. So it costs about 500 euro and we paid for it. So it's not a gifted product. It's not a sponsored video by Ambient. So what I'm saying now are my own thoughts and what I think about it. I was very excited when I got it. You know, I had the ambient hydrophone since a long time in my peripheral vision. You know, I had other hydrophones that I had that I used, they were nice. But this is a complete new new world here. This is a complete different level that we're talking about. First off, when I saw it and I had it in my hand, I already could tell this is so much lighter. And if you travel a lot like Libby and I, weight is important to us. Now the next point is how it's made, like the material, right? The hydrophones I had before, they were like rubber coating and I already could tell after several weeks that this rubber started to disappear or it got cracks in it and holes and it just, it almost fall apart. Now with this one is, this is aluminum and it has also like a special coating. So with the aluminum, that, that's very important for me because when I have it in water then uh, or on the beach, it just gets moving around by the waves and then it scratched the surface, it scratched the ground, it hits on rocks. So it's important for me that it has a, a better protection for impacts, but also we put it into salt water. We put it into ice cold water, back into hot water from the hot pot. So in snow, ice, so these are like different environmental situations. And I believe it can withstand this without any problems because it doesn't have any problems yet. Now the cable is also very thin and you can exchange it. So what, what you need to do is, this is now a 10 meter cable. What is perfect for the, for the uh, sound recordings that I do. But if maybe down the road, I want a longer one, like 50 meters, maybe 100 meters, what's well, very long, then that it's not a problem at all. All what I needed to do is open this hydrophone here and then I can just change the cable. So there's no soldering needed. Another thing that I see is it is XLR, there's a three pin. So if you're thinking about getting a hydrophone, then make sure you have a recorder that allows XLR inputs. Let's talk about the sound quality and sound overall. So I started recording a couple times before and then I put it into my audition. And the first thing that I saw is the frequency range. It is so high, like I have stuff in the recording that goes up to 70 kilohertz, 70 hertz, uh, 80. So it gets really, really high. So if you're a sound designer, that is so interesting because you can just pitch it down and then you have like a complete new world of sounds. So sounds that are, that I'm listening to while live recording and record and I don't hear them, I can later see and hear them and make them audible in post. So I think that's the right word to say. When I recorded a river and the river was very close, you know, like it goes over rocks and it creates these bubbles, you know, this it's just a crystal clear sound. So there's like nothing, it's just this. When we recorded sounds from boats that are further away, that are not in this video, it was such a clean audio that you can listen to it because we have the sample sound library with many other recordings that are not included in the video. That gives you another perspective of how much of a quality it has. One recording, when you saw it in the video next to a boat, that was just so incredible intense. Like there was this recording and in the video, we'll see how it's dropping out. It's like, whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know where that's from, but it comes from the boat because the boat created a weird click. But this click, it's, it's, it seems like it shut off the microphone recording. So it's, it's a, a very interesting, very weird. And then we went back to this quiet harbor, just 20 meters away, it's gone. 
you just have this very nice interesting sound of the very calming harbor there's no noise you know you can adjust the gain however you want and i record these sounds as quiet as possible but then in post when you raise it up you raise it up you raise it up and then you clean out the noise you still hear some very clean clickety clickety cluck now we would love to have recorded whales under the water but no uh, we didn't went out on a boat on it we just didn't have the possibility but i know from uh, other people using uh, this hydrophone uh, to record these kind of sounds so maybe in the future if 500 euro is not too much money for you i would highly recommend buying this hydrophone thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more real world test video just leave us a comment below give us some feedback and maybe you have other ideas of videos that we should create just let us know now i let you go and we see you in the next video Okay, that's a good take.